Just a minute. I saw you eating now, man. You can't say you are fasting. Eh? That's, that's the funny thing about this country, Sha. People be like, oh, uh, it's Lent, so I'm just going to give up candy. Ah! Have you seen anybody that died when they eat candy? What do you mean they're giving up candy? How does that work? When, when, you, when you're fasting, you're supposed to give up, like you're supposed to give up eating for the whole day. Right? Everybody got real quiet. Someone said only Muslims, even Christians too. You can't check your Bible. That's fasting. But it's, it, that's the thing. In this country, man, I will tell you guys something personal now, right? Because we're all, you guys are like my best friends right now, so I don't even mind telling you. When I, <laughs> when, I, when I first came to this country, right? Uh, my, my roommate, his girlfriend, she was on a diet. Now this girl, when I say she was on a diet, this girl was, at the most, 92 to 95 pounds. <laughs> at the most. She would stand in front of the mirror, she'd be like, I need just to lose it right here. I'm like, you can not even hold the thing I'm trying to lose. <laughs> so this girl, every day, this girl runs like 10 miles. And in my mind, I'm like, maybe you're running two miles and the wind is blowing you the remaining eight. <laughs> So I'm like, it's not like you have a wedding coming up that you're trying to lose weight for. It's not like the person that you're with, the boyfriend that she's with, this boy is a whole 240 pounds of man goodness. So even he himself, he doesn't really care about those kind of things. So I'm wondering, like, why? Why is it that you're just on this diet? From today, today she'll be on Atkins diet. You know, she'll be like, Atkins diet, salvage diet. That Atkins diet, that's the one that you can't, you can't eat carbs, right? Yeah. You have to eat only protein, you eat chicken, fish. I can't stay on that diet too, because as an African, I need to eat rice. I need my rice. If I don't eat rice for two days, I will just be scratching. I'm like, give me rice, give me rice, jello rice, fried rice, white rice, I don't care, just give me rice. I can't do it. Okay, how can you be on a diet that you're eating only meat? In my culture, the child who eats only meat, they call that child what? Am rubber. Your father will, your mother will cook soup and put meat inside, and you go and eat five pieces of meat. And mommy, I'm an Atkins diet. That's the day you die. What is wrong with you? So I was trying to explain to this girl. I said, Look, you put here, you have Atkins diet, South Beach diet, all kinds of that, lemonade diet, this one diet, coconut water diet, all this kind of diet. That's nonsense. In Nigeria, we have three kinds of diets. Three kinds of diets. This is, I'm not lying, though. The first kind of diet is zero one zero. Zero one zero means when you wake up in the morning, no food. Afternoon, food. Night, no food. The second kind of diet is zero zero one. We call that one the midnight special. When you wake up in the morning, no food. Afternoon, uncle. And then at midnight. So when you are sleeping, you just be so happy. <laughs> and the third kind of diet, zero, zero, zero. That one is to be continued. Forget about losing 10 pounds. So if you get on that diet, you will lose all the pounds by the time you are done. So these are things that people don't really understand. You know, from my own culture, and I'll come here, you are not doing all this kind of ajabota diet. See people, they'll be working out in the gym, lifting weights. <laughs> what have I done now? People, people will be in the gym, they'll be lifting weights. You just be seeing them carrying weights. They'll be running. What is chasing you? If you want to lift weights, go to the village and go and fetch water. What, what are you talking about? I, I can feel the burn. I can feel the burn. Kilogram bag of rice. <laughs> you will feel that burn. Everybody's looking at me like, ah, look at this guy. You know how tall are you? <laughs> look, I may look five six, but I'm like five ten. <laughs> if you check my ear money profile, five ten. Confirm. <laughs> but the main reason why I'm this height is not because I didn't eat the right food. Though. It's not because my parents didn't give me the right nutrition. The simple reason is because I used to fetch water on a daily basis. So every morning, 
I have three brothers, my parents. You have to go and fetch water for each person. And according to your size, that's the size of water that I use and bath. So my smallest brother, he'll use one small cup of water like this to bath. My other brother like this, the other one like this. When he now start coming to my dad and my mom, he now start carrying a big jerry can. Every morning, the bad thing was we lived on the fourth floor. And there's no elevator. So every morning I'll be carrying that. The thing stunted my growth. Till today I cannot even turn my neck well well, sir. So whenever I see people in the gym, I just get so mad. If you want to lift weight, volunteer right now, go to Africa and go and lift what? You guys ready for us to go? You want me to keep going? Should I keep going? Yeah. Another thing that happened when I first came to this country, right? I, I, went to, I went to the State University of New York at Buffalo. So I went to Buffalo for my undergrad. You beat! Yes, sir. <laughs> so I went to Buffalo and I remember very vividly, right? You know, Buffalo is cold. When I say cold, I mean cold. No joke, oh. Me, I came from Lagos where the, when I was young. When it's 75 degrees, my mother would tell us, go and wear a sweater. Go and wear your sweater and catch something. And now I went to Buffalo, where on a very nice day, when all the Oyibo people are walking around in shorts, it's around like 5 or 6 degrees. So when I now went there, I was like, ah, what kind of stress is this? Because I knew that it's not there, because on the website, they said that's a brochure for the new students. They took a picture of the snow looking so calm, all over the buildings, all over the cars. They didn't tell us about the wind. <laughs> it was when I got there at first. I came out of the airport, that wind was blowing me. I started running back. They said, sir, you don't have a return ticket. You don't have a return ticket. Go out, go out. I was like, which kind of nonsense is this? <laughs> so, being in Buffalo now, I was, watch, I was watching TV. This was my first week. So I'm still learning everything about America. Brand new. Watching TV. This was back when I think Bush, Bush was president back then. I don't think myself anything, but Bush was president back then. So, Bush was president. This guy was on TV. He was like, Bush, Bush is an idiot. Bush is so stupid. He's so useless. I'm like, ah. <laughs> is he talking about the president? This, this guy is a dead man. <laughs> Are you all right? Is he talking about the president like this? <laughs> if, if, it's no joke, oh. If you go to Lagos right now and say that about the head of your student union, <laughs> You're gonna have people waiting outside the office, like, okay, you gonna come out. <laughs> so, this guy is saying all these things, and I'm saying, ah, this guy is dead, this guy is dead. <laughs> the next day, I turn on the TV again, this guy is still there again. Bush is absolutely useless. I say, ah, this has to be the greatest country in the world. <laughs> so, these are the little, little things that I see. When I, 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 you know, I, English is not my first language, so I see it when I came in. <laughs> So, I'm not thinking, you know, being, being in my class, you know, we had, we had, a, the, we had an exam. We had an exam, I think it was like our chemistry exam or so, right? So, I'm studying for this exam, killing myself, studying, studying, studying all night, you know, all through the weekend, I'm there on, you know, in the library, and all my... And all my, all, my, all my friends, you know, all my uh, African-American friends, all my Nigerian friends that were born in America, you know, the white friends, they're just playing, having a good time. And I'm wondering to myself, what kind of nonsense is this now? I'm just studying, studying, studying. On Monday, I get to the exam, find out that they say it's open book. <laughs> I said, they're like, ah, why, why did you study so hard? Man? I didn't you know it was open book. I said, I heard it was open book, but I thought that they meant that you should go home and open your book. <laughs> That's how one of my boys called out. We came from Nigeria together. He came into the exam hall, all tanned up. The boy had used a pen and wrote down all the definition of everything all over his body. So that's how this boy just showed up, looking like Wiz Khalifa. Everything all over. And I sat down beside me. See everybody with their textbooks. He just looked at me and said, Oh boy, I open Google. All right, so you guys enjoy the video. I'm a Christ and Hammer. We wearing a Prada. Don't oh, yeah, yeah, ask your mommy. I want to lay, I want to lay, what 